All right, so uh, this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and as well uh, Sagittarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading March 23rd to uh, March 29th, 2020. <clears throat> and in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which uh, you can purchase such. So that being said, moving straight away to the reading here, the first card which represents the topic of your week, Sagittarius, is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. Moving forward here with the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic, we do have the Knight of Swords. Followed by the next one here, which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome <clears throat> one or another way. That is to be the judgment card. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week here. We do have the Knight of Cups, followed by the next one, which represents how uh, you are going to stand in front of others. Or in other words, what kind of impression people around you are going to have towards you. That is to be the Two of Pentacles. And the final one here that we do have, it is the guidance that Tsaro is offering to you. And that will be the Queen of, uh, the Queen of Swords. All right, so, um, well, needless to say here is that the situation is very favorable. We do have the Ace of Pentacles, and when the Ace of Pentacles sits as a situation, it usually kind of means that uh, um, you are to have rather successful business endeavors and as well a, a, a harmonious type of relationships that you are to surround yourself with. But whatever uh, situations you are to be involved in throughout this week, it does look like that they are to create a lot of content within you. I mean, you are going to look forward to their unfoldment moving forward into the future. And uh, from some of those uh, enterprises, you are to kind of like grasp upon a, uh, I would say, a rare opportunity to further whatever goal you want, um, you want to execute or you want to bring to its very end, if you will. So in other words, Ace of Pentacles as a general topic and theme of the week, for you Sagittarius, it does give you a slow but steady progress it does give you a successful business maneuvers and again it does give you harmony into whatever relationships you are in either career wise or either relationship wise if you will and the energies that are feeding up the topic here which is why that whole thing takes place it is the knights of swords and these energies are speaking that you are going to impress people with your decision making in that particular case with your sharp and very agile in intellectual capacity and capability and as well that whenever you have to make a decision regardless about what's either a uh, um, uh, an enterprise into your relationship or uh, into your business you're always going to consult your logic with whatever emotions are at, uh, are at place at that particular point so in other words nobody around you is going to feel deprived in any way from your approach toward the situation that connects or rather like that involves a, a cumulative effort in it so in other words people are gonna see you or uh, how can i say it um, they're gonna judge about you that you are quite fair and that whatever actions you are taking are to be quite justified now, important thing as well to be acknowledged here with the uh, Knight of Swords, it is that those energies are going to make you very persistent. And uh, I will try now to explain how it's going to play out. So seeing that the situation gives you an opportunity to further your goal, the more enthusiasm you're going to start obtaining here, so you are to see more value into your actions and you're going to see more worth into, uh, into your persistent Therefore, you are going to see, or rather like you are going to analyze or come up into uh, with the conclusion that uh, what you do, uh, what you are doing and what you are planning to do as well, it's not in vain at all. <clears throat> but what concerns me here, Sagittarius, is the third card, which is the judgment. 
and we said a, a rare opportunity to further your goal. Now, the fact that we do have the judgment into this place, which is a, into that position, which is a challenging position, it kind of means that you have, uh, that you are under a danger to miss that opportunity. It is just not to be able to seize it in a way that you are to look in a different direction. So the judgment here uh, literally tells us in the term of uh, challenges that you have to consider or rather like expect the unexpected. And to me, this card in that position tells me that uh, this opportunity is not going to take place at the, uh, at the endeavor that you hope that is going to take place, but it will be in an endeavor that you have probably set aside and uh, you are not uh, kind of like performing into it at that particular point or you are not uh, taking it under consideration at that particular point. The judgment here <clears throat> points that the circumstances are going to be aligned in a such way that they are going to be exactly favorable for you to keep on performing or for you to keep on developing whatever that deed of yours is. So um, say that you are uh, in a relationship, you do have a job and you hope that uh, your job is going to improve, but instead your relationship improves or vice versa. And whatever it is, you got to take it. OK, and uh, judgment points as well. That uh, whatever concern you do have, I mean, a big concern here. Uh, is going to have its resolution. However, you may find it a bit, how can I say it? Um, not exactly the type of resolution you want it to have. Nonetheless, uh, it will be challenging for you to take it, but you got to take it as the card. It kind of points that it's going to be like a wake up call, like awakening, like a rebirth here in term of, uh, in term of a, a future unfoldment either career-wise or either relationship-wise. So uh, I know that it sounds a bit confusing, but what we do have here, it is once again, a an opportunity for you to further your goal, although it may, it may not, uh, it won't take place at the endeavor. You want it to take place, nonetheless, you gotta take it. And uh, that will be provoked by your swift intellectual capacity that you do have. So in other words, the ability to uh, assess situations very, very quickly and very accurately. And whatever decision you are to make in regards to how to perform moving forward is not going to be taken in such a way that you are to deprive people around. And uh, next one here for you, Sagittarius, it does uh, represent uh, the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy. So we do have a person. OK, and that may be completely unrelated with the topic, the energies and the situation itself. Because the Knights of Cups, these people, they always uh, follow the, the dreams of their heart. I mean, if you can observe the card, that is a, a person who holds the cup that represents their uh, feelings and their dreams in general in front of them and they're following that cup. So as a gift and blessing, that is someone who pretty much is emotionally involved with you, okay? That it is there to support you. That is, that is your blessing. So if you think that you are alone in this world, well, you have to guess again because it does look like that this week you are to, you are to find out that that's not true, okay? That's simply not true. Uh, if you lack love, well, then that could be a person who kind of like steps out and tells that he loves you or she loves you. Bear in mind that may not be a romantic love. OK, that may not be the kind of love you need right now. But nonetheless, it's a, a type of love. And um, on a different perspective, the uh, Knights of Cups, uh, that person itself is going to serve to you as an encouragement to do as much as you can, because at the end of the day, you're going to get just as much as you did in, meaning that the benefits or the results of your effort is going to be completely reciprocal to the uh, to the performance you incorporate into this endeavor here, which is uh, uh, classified by the by the Ace of Pentacles. And don't get me wrong, guys, the, this thing ain't going to happen overnight. Now, eight of, uh, nine, um, Ace of Pentacles, excuse me. Ace of Pentacles, it takes a lot of time to develop. This is a very slowly unfolding um, gaining for 
opportunity or gaining for enterprise and it does require a lot of commitment it does require a lot of consistency as well but you are not going to have problem to incorporate commitment and consistency in it because um, you are to have the uh, the, con the content once again and for some of you are also seeing that the results are happening and your actions are not in vain there are to be moments of ecstasy as well so that um, leads us to the next one which represents how people are going to take on you what kind of an impression you're going to leave into the people around we do have the two of pentacles and simply said people were seeing you how you are abandoning concepts like said that opportunity for you to further your goal is not going to be regarding the goal you hope for however nonetheless is going to be about improvement and therefore you have to abandon concept of the goal you want and readopt a, a new concept of the goal that it is given to you to move on forward with okay and so people are going to see you adaptable people are going to see you like you are abandoning outdated concepts and you are aligning to the current situation so in other words people are going to see you as a, someone who makes the most out of the situations such presented <clears throat> and someone who is capable to capitalize on any kind of uh, not just only opportunity but as well a um, a mean that comes into one's way another way uh, of uh, seeing the two of pentacles it is that people are going to see you open for varieties as well it is like that uh, you are not by biased about how one thing should be done or what should you expect from the future because uh, people were to see you with quite of an open mind for once again a different concepts and different ideas as well and the final one here uh, which we do have it is the guidance that Tara is offering so we do have the uh, Queen of Swords and uh, when we talk about the Queen of Swords as a guidance this card really urges us and in this case you Sagittarius to be in tune with the surrounding situation and really to make the most out of it because the, the Queen of Swords makes um, makes use of everything that she can use as an arsenal and as a mean here capable to push her goal through so basically you are to be capable to push your goal through uh, only if you can take maximum advantage of such presented situation and what I'm trying to say here it is maybe that opportunity may not come around or may not manifest into the field you want it to manifest but should you stay put doing nothing just because you don't have that opportunity where you want it to be or you're gonna put the, the thing that you want to push forward at how at that particular point and actually take advantage of the opportunity is such presented even if it is at something that you kind of like a bit indifferent just at that particular stage but like I said as soon as you see um, results based on your actions you are going to start um, not manifesting but uh, you're going to start being content about it okay and uh, that will allow you to significantly improve your circumstances because this is this is what all comes to can you improve your circumstances yes but not in the place that you so much wanted to improve them not in the place that you probably anticipated to improve them throughout this week um and that being said sagittarius this was your weekly general tarot reading guys for a march 23rd to uh, march 29th 2020 Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can uh, purchase such. And depending on the service you purchase, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours, giving you details how your reading is going to take place. So stay safe now, guys. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.